All right, so the Bailey Shark Nano got some updates. So I want to show you how easy it is to update the firmware on this guy. So I'm going to go ahead and go to settings. Settings. Updates. Check it for update. All right, it's found one. It's downloading. This is so easy. This is crazy. And like, like if you if you had the M5 like I have over here, or the um, any other like uh, device that has like the Bruce firmware or uh, even the Flipper Zero, like you have to like go into the computer, grab the uh, update, flash it onto the, uh, the device. Like this is so easy. And there, there you go. Now this thing is up to date. It's literally that easy. That is incredible. This is why I really like this device for a very beginner friendly cybersecurity multi tool because of things like that. This is very easy to use. And it's a great like gateway into getting into into like other tools, but I, I just wow, that's how easy it is to use the BLE Shark Nano. I love it. Another update: the injection mold files are done and being finalized. In the background, I have some of the colors that will be available at launch. You have the standard black, you have the white, and then you have the clear case. So those three are going to be the standard colors you get. And for a limited time, you'll be able to get a blue one. And I'm really excited to announce the BLE Shark Nano Ghost Strats Edition. That's right. They're going to be making a purple one for a limited time. To celebrate our partnership and all that we've done together on this channel, our community really got behind this product. And, and to celebrate that, there will be a purple edition for a limited time. Thank you, Infishark Tech, for this. This is awesome. And also being finalized is the silicone case. It's going to be using a liquid silicone rubber injection mold. That's really cool. And you could check out their finalized designs on their GitHub repository. Next up is the infrared features. They have been finalized. They fixed the issue with the previous version. Now it's three times more powerful. They found that there was a mix up with the BJT transmitter. The collector and emitter pins were swapped, which has now been corrected. And the firmware got an update. They added all the IR features now, and as well as new bad Bluetooth scripts that are already preloaded. Toward the end of this video, I'll test some of them so you can see them live. Um, they definitely sped up the speed of the way it writes. Um, it's so much better now and it's so much smoother. I'll show you later on in this video. And they're working on certifications. They're working on getting global compliance, approvals from the FCC, CA, etc. as you see right here. They want to assure compliance for the backers and meet all electronic safety standards. They're also working on third-party logistics. This is gonna really help when it comes to shipping. This should be a very smooth experience for a lot of people. And for the people that live in areas where there's not much volume, they'll just get the standard worldwide shipping. They're also gonna be working on surveys. They're finalizing the surveys and this should be expected soon. Next thing is the packaging. They're getting a major upgrade. So previously, this is what it looked like when they sent it to you. It was in like a white box with like no markings or anything. I just put the question mark on it. And for what they're telling me is that it should be a little bit smaller than what you see here. Next up, they got the stickers. They have a whole bunch of stickers now, which I'm really excited for. So I'm, I'm assuming that you'll be getting a couple of stickers within the box. And that's pretty much it for the update. So right now, I'm going to be showing you all the new bad Bluetooth features. Um, I was doing some testing with them. And uh, you just want to play it while I play some music in the background. And you'll be able to see some of the cool stuff it can do now and how fast it works now. So thank you, BLE Shark Nano, for giving me this information to share with everybody. I'm really excited for this product. And I'll keep you guys posted for any new updates.
And I just want to add this. This is brand new news from Infi Shark Tech. Uh, the samples that they got today had an awful defect. The PCB manufacturer messed up. I'm going to put the picture of what it's supposed to look like and what they received in here, as well as the message that they sent me so you guys can look at it further. But this should be corrected. And that's it for this video. Thank you, InfiShark Tech, for sending me all this info, as well as setting up the Ghost Rats Edition BLE Shark Nano. I think that's so cool that we have something like that. And uh, I really do love this product, and I love that our community loves it as well. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any content about this product. And remember, safety is illusion. I'll see you in the next video.